Today on No Mac No Cheese, we're going to teach you how to create an action in Photoshop. If you see the Actions tab there, uh, you can just click on it, and you'll see a bunch of folders. If you don't see the Actions tab, go up to Window and click on the Action, but, uh, the action option there, and uh, then you'll be able to see your actions. I'm going to put one in, a new one in Default Actions. I'm going to hit the button there, mark New Action. Uh, it asks me for the name. Uh, you can also set a function key if you want to be able to do this with just a single button. I'm going to call this one Soft Vignette. And then I'm going to hit Record. See the red button there over in the Actions palette. Now what it's doing, it's recording all of the items or all of the actions that I do. And One thing you really want to be careful of is um, doing things that can be that will work on both vertical and horizontal images. So I hit Select All and then I am uh, hit select transform and I'm resizing it to 80% height and width. Okay, So now I'm going to do a feather of 150 pixels. That's going to soften the edges there and to make sure it's plenty soft I'm going to do repeat that. I'm going to feather it again at 150 pixels. Okay, and then I'm going to invert my selection so it's selecting only the outside edges. And now to create the vignette I'm going to do image adjustments and then levels and I'm going to adjust my levels uh, so that it darkens everything in the outside area there. Actually I'm a little bit off my screen here. I'll pull this over in just a second. <clears throat> but you can see on the picture how I can how I'm adjusting that and how the feathering of the selection is making it um, a nice even transition there. And you can adjust the output levels which will affect the bright whites as well as the middle slider. When I'm done I hit select, deselect so it gets rid of it all Then I hit stop over on my actions palette. Now you'll see all the different steps that I took and I'm going to just close that so now we have one action that will do it all. Here's the before, there's the after. And now I have in my palette there I have a nice quick way to get that same effect on any picture. I'm going to open up a new picture here, find another one that I think this would look good on. <clears throat> here we go. Open this. Now to use it, I just highlight the action that I want to use and hit play. If I would have given it a function key, I could have just hit that function button and it would automatically do it. So this is a really easy way to automate and speed up a lot of your frequently used actions. Alright, hope this helps. See you next time.